Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. You can see we have our trusty sidekick with us. Oh, Yeller. And we're going to be out hunting for some birds here. And we're going to talk about something that just hit me. I was actually um, in I Buy Premium stream just chatting away with him. And it, it just hit me. Uh, just an epiphany about the next possible map and the next possible great one. So everything that I'm about to say is speculation. So please take it with a grain of salt. It is nothing that I have been told by anybody from the company. And if I do get this right, then it's completely coincidental and just a good guess by me because nobody's told me anything. But it makes sense. Before I hop into it, if you would, do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Really helps the channel. Our channel is growing steadily, but we'd like it to grow a little faster. And that's where you come in. Tell your friends, if you've already subscribed, if you've already hit that like button on this video, share it, get your friends to watch it and let me know. Here's the big thing. This is speculation. This is theorizing, which I love to do. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Am I right on both things? Am I right on one? Am I right on neither? We're going to talk about the time frame that maybe this new map could come. We're going to talk about the time frame the new great one would come. And is it possible that I'm onto something here? Hope it is. But anyway, guys, let's do a little hunting and a little theorizing. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video as well. Because I want to go over some things about how my channel points work and all that because you want to make sure that you're there for part of my giveaways, which always happen on the last day of the month. So we got to talk about that too. So make sure to tune in all the way to the end. Let's hop into it. Here's what I'm thinking. Just talking around some other creators, spitballing some ideas. You know how we do. Everybody has their own theories. I'm full of theories. Uh, I just released a video not long ago, just convinced that in the Angler, the sister game, that the next map was going to be Costa Rica because I had looked up, you know, Aguas Claris and it brought up some hotel in Costa Rica and I was convinced, you know. Uh, so again, this is just a theory. It's nothing that I know for sure, but it makes a lot of sense. Here's, I'm going to hit you with the first one. Africa. 2.0 Africa 2.0 here's why I think this is happening just some of the things that Jaxie has said in his EW streams about how he would like to see Africa 2.0 as well also the fact that we now don't get me wrong when I say this I love O'Yeller here when I'm bird hunting he's a must have Okay, you'll go get my birds, my, or small game hunting rather. You'll go get them, I shoot them, I don't have to worry about going and getting them. It makes things quick and easy. But here's the thing, most of us are big game hunters. So we may not be wanting to go hunt small game that much, but when I do hunt small game, I will have old Yeller with me here. Okay, I like the dog, it's just... December is the best time of year for streamers. And we are used to getting, hello there. We are used to getting a new map. Let's just go ahead and, and, and just say it. We're, we're used to getting a new map and a new great one every six months. You've got June, you've got Christmas. That's just the way it has been going for us for a while. And we are used to that. So... Just to get a dog, imagine that you don't, I've talked to people that don't even bird hunt at all. Like they don't even care. They are a big game or they're grinders or, you know, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I will grind and I will get my target animal. I'll kill thousands if I need to, to get what I'm after. But then after I get it, I tend to lose interest and go on to a different animal and try to get all the different diamonds and things. That's just the way I'm wired. 
small game hunting is just not something that holds a lot of people's interest. I do it in small spurts. And what, what I'm getting at with this is to just get a dog as your Christmas DLC in the Hunter Call of the Wild, if I'm being honest. It's a little disappointing. And I'm just being honest here. The dog's fine. The dog's working good. But for it to be the DLC that we get in Christmas, it's a little disappointing. But we've kind of been hinted at that there's more on the horizon. And the reason we're not getting a map is because they want to make sure, you know, it's... It's done properly. It's a big... I'm, I'm led to believe that this is a big, juicy map. Something... He's he's kind of thrown some hints that we're not going to be disappointed when whatever it is that comes out finally comes out. So, I like to theorize why this happens, why that happens. I like to... I've always been that way. I, want, I don't want to just know facts. I want to know why. Why? 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 Why do things happen the way they happen? So here's my thoughts. And these are linked together. Africa 2.0 and the next great one. Because it hit me. If the map's too big to make and get out by December and it's just that good of a map, you know, maybe there's just some totally brand new models that they're having to work on and they've just bit off more than they can chew or whatever. Why didn't we at least get a great one? Like I could have under I could have accepted not getting a map if we got a great one, a new great one. I could have accepted that. That would have been fine. Because honestly, I think great ones and maps should be released at a different time anyway. They should. They because it takes a what they take away from each other. You have to choose, especially if the great one is not on the new map. You have to choose which one you're going to uh, go after. You know, are you going to play and explore the new map and try to get all those diamonds and, and all that, all those trophies, or are you going to go be the first to get the great one? It's always a big race. Who's going to get that great one first? You know, that's... So... For there to not be a great one, at least, I start thinking, why? Why? The company knows this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt, right? Players were needing something. So why? This hurts. And then it hit me. They're tied together. I believe. And how cool would this be? And you guys can weigh in on this. That the new great one is going to be the lion. That's that's what I hope I'm right. What makes this interesting is in the past they have said on multiple occasions that they don't want to make someone have to buy a DLC in order to be able to hunt the great one. Right? But at some point you got to make money. The lion is something that I see people requesting a lot. Love to have a great one lion. I just think it would be epic if we had a great one lion. Um, especially, you know, I think of uh, the Lion King and Simba and Scar. You know, and, and just a scarred up lion that looks like it's been fighting, you know, and visibly bigger, you know, kind of like the great one black bear. Um... Maybe part of its ear is torn off. It's got scars across its face. Or you got the one that's got a patch of hair missing on the left side. A big deep scar down its sides. Or, you know, different scars in different places. Part of its eyeball, you know, scarred out. I mean, just, you could make them look really mean that way. I just think that would be, that would be great. Totally whiffed on that first shot. Why did we not get a great one if we wouldn't get in the map? Why did that not happen? And I think I understand why. So hear me out. They were working on the line great one. Of course, that's going to be 
on Savannah. But I think Africa 2.0, in addition to all the new animals they're going to put on it, because lion is such a popular animal to hunt, that lions will also be on Africa 2.0, or whatever you're going to call it. We'll just call it Africa 2.0 for now. So lines will be on there too. So something in the coding, it's not just as easy as hitting a button. There's coding takes a lot of work. So I think that the reason that we're not getting a great one is because the great one is also going to be on the new map. And so they're waiting until they have the new map done so that the they can put that great one on that map and on Savannah. And that's why we didn't get it this time, so that when we do get the great one, it'll automatically be ready to go on both maps. That's what I think. And you got the whole issue with you're making me buy a DLC. Right? You're making me buy a DLC in order to play and be able to hunt the great one. Even if you're not buying the new map, you still have to buy Savannah, right? What if they severely discount savannah and make it much cheaper or even make it a free map to make up for this delay they make it a free map then it's not locked behind a paywall but at some point we got to get over the paywall thing you just have to get over it uh, a company's got to make money people need to understand that people are making these great ones they're making these maps they're putting the hours in just like we go to work every day those people go to work every day and do that, and they have to make money. The company has to make money to pay them. So they can't just make a free DLC. And so eventually you're going to run out of great ones anyway. We're almost to the point to where we don't have very many options. I mean, you could say technically Roosevelt Elk or Blacktail. And maybe they're making one of the, a map that would have one of those animals on it in addition to being able to get them off the base map. That's a possibility too, but I, I, I really am hoping that it's Africa 2.0 and that we're getting a lion and, and that's why. I think it's one of those two possibilities. I think they whatever map they're making... The great one's going to be on that map. And since that map's not done, they didn't want to release the great one yet. Maybe that's what it is. But what I think the company really needs to get to, to be in a good solid state, would be map in June, map in December. Great one in October, great one in March. I don't like releasing great ones at the same time as a new map. And a lot of the content creators agree with me on that. Because it spreads the hype out to where at least every three months you're getting a major piece of content there. Either a great one or a map every three months. And then you could stick in between that something like a good idea that uh, Kiel Clinton uh, mentioned. A multi-mount. A new multi-mount in between. You know? That gives some people like, oh, I got to go get this animal and this animal for that multi-mount. You know, it just gives us something to grind for. But your major things would be new map, new, new map, new go, new lodge. Spread those things out. Spread them out. You know, don't, don't release them all at one time. That's my thoughts. Africa 2.0 and the lion. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. And I also want to talk about a little something that I do in my channel, in my Twitch channel, Darth underscore Sloan. Uh, those of y'all know, I do stream on YouTube from time to time. I do stream every Tuesday night for Tackle Tuesday. We're currently in first place. Uh, Johnny Crowbro and then Scarecrow are nipping at my heels. We are actually going to be doing Camizo this week, depending on when you watch this video, of course. But I do want to show you how my channel works over on Twitch on the last day of the month. Let's look at it. All right, guys, as you can see, my channel points. This is reward set up to reward my viewers who are loyal to the channel and come in and watch. You get triple points if you're a sub and if you do any type of monetary 
donations, cheering, gifting subs, things like that, of course, you will rank up in the channel quicker. But there are people that get all the way to Sith Lord, which is 20,000 stream elements points. I call them Metachlorians. If you get to 20,000, then you're that red rank right there, the Sith Lord, and you see it takes up way more space on the wheel. If it lands on your rank, then you have a chance to win that $50 Visa card or PayPal, depending on how many Sith Lords are. Usually there's two or three Sith Lords in the chat at that time, you have to be live to win. But we have on two occasions had it land on the white Stormtrooper rank you see there. And those are people that just joined the channel uh, followed for free and they won 50 bucks. So it is possible for everybody no longer, no matter how long they've been in the channel to win that 50 bucks. This is a great way to reward my viewers for their loyalty and their viewership and be able to give back to the community. And I do that on the last day of every month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, again, let me know in the comments what you think the next map's gonna be, what you think the next great one's gonna be. Am I completely bonkers? Just let me know. I can take it, I promise. But make sure to tune in Tackle Tuesday, 8 p.m. on YouTube. Tomorrow evening will probably be, which is Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, is usually when I go live on Twitch. See you guys then.